to go to this website. I have it linked on my blog, or you can pause now and look up here uh, for the UC Davis Bodega Marine Laboratory, bml.ucdavis.edu. But once you get to this web page, you click on Download the Mapping Program and Instructions here. It's a zipped file, so you're going to unzip it and then copy it uh, to your hard drive. I just put it in Windows Program Files so I wouldn't forget where it is because that's usually where programs go. Now this isn't a software that you have to install. It's a uh, Java program, so you just double click on Scientific Mapping Program and there's an instructions PDF there. And then you select the template. I'm just going to choose Understanding Science. So I'm going to click OK. And here is the graphic that scientists have put together to show the nature of, of science that, that they do, which is to let us teachers know that it's not as clear cut and, and structured as the scientific uh, method we've been teaching for years. But this tool, you could show your students uh, a pathway of, of science and then let them do it for an experiment they do in class. Preferably, maybe even an engineering activity so it's less neat. But let's say I'm going to click here on serendipity because somebody stumbled on to something. Uh, then that led them to ask questions. And maybe they explored the literature to see what other people had done with it. Then they maybe came up with a hypothesis. So they had to make observations. You see how this works is once you click on something, it maps the pathway. Uh, so maybe they had actual results from their observations, which led them to get feedback so they knew they were on the right track. Uh, maybe they had to develop technology, come up with a sensor or something to actually collect more data. So maybe they went back to making a new hypothesis based on their data. Uh, and, and maybe by now, this data has supported their hypothesis. Yay! And I know I'm cutting this real short, but yeah, let's go to publication. Now they're ready to publish. So you can show your students uh, this. And then if they can download the Java file onto their computers, then students can go through this. So I'm going to back up. And as a student, well, maybe it's a practical problem we came up with in class. Uh, so we needed to research. And then we came up with questions. Once we had questions, maybe we did go to a hypothesis. Maybe we made some observations. And maybe this went back and forth. Um, now, students probably aren't likely to develop a technology. But if it's an engineering task, maybe they did. And this could address a societal issue or maybe even a community issue. And they could discuss with colleagues, which in their case is their fellow students or classmates, I should say. Um, and by this time, maybe they made some actual results from testing different uh, uh, plans they had. And let's jump to, yay, it supported their hypothesis. Um, so now they've got something they can publish in a blog post or, or report to the teacher. So yeah, that's how this works. It's really cool um, as a tool for having students see that science can be messy and, and can have different pathways to coming up with a, a discovery or, or answering certain questions.